um, roast potatoes today, and um, we are gonna. I'm gonna show you how we roast them and how we dice them up and cut them up. Uh, this has already been peeled, and um, I'm just gonna show you what we do. Um, we usually just take it and just cut it up real quick. Let's cut it up in half. It's easier. It's a big potato. Then I just take it and we turn. Now we're making them hearty chunks. Your bowl. Then we're going to put it in the bowl. If the chunks are too big, just cut them down. Let's dice them up. All right. After that's done, we rinse them. And once we rinse them, we're going to season them. So we have this in the bowl, all our diced potatoes. And then we're going to take our, is this my olive oil? Then we're going to take our olive oil. And this is about a quarter cup. And then um, we're going to mix the olive oil up really good on all the potatoes so everything's coated. And we've already got it salt and pepper. So what we're going to do is now I'm going to add a little bit more seasoning. And then I'm going to use my handy dandy onion soup mix. And I poured it in. And then we're just going to mix this up as well. Now we're going to spray the cookie sheet down so it's not sticky with some um, butter spray. Because everybody knows potatoes like to stick to the paint. So this is really coated. And if you want to add some more seasonings in, like some garlic seasoning or whatever, um, don't hesitate. You're welcome to do that. So then we're going to take the cookie sheet. And then we're just going to pour it over the pan. It's a lot of potatoes. How many potatoes would you say this is? About five? Five or six? Five or six. This is about five or six with large potatoes. <laughs> My husband David's helping me today. You want to put that in the oven for me? Alright, so he's going to be doing that. He's going to put the oven for me at 400. And then we're going to do a little twist. I have a pork only that I'm going to cook tonight. Pretty pork and white. And I believe this one was seasoned, it had a little barbecue sauce in it. I'm just gonna spray my pan down just a little bit because I know how my little pan is. And I've got the oven preheating. So what I want to do to add a twist to my um my pork loin is I would like to add bacon to this. And you're like, oh so I'm gonna wrap it. So we're going to take, we're going to move this out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to create a bed of bacon first. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. Ah, uh, so tonight's going to be roasted potatoes and the wrapped purple wine. Sounds good to me. Okay. So we've got a good bed going here. And I've kind of overlapped them a little bit, as you can tell, uh, because I want them to stay together. Let's see if this is going to fit. Perfect. Okay. 
So the trick with pork loin is we're going to flip it over on its flat side because we're going to flip it. See how the, the fat is? You're actually supposed to, whenever you cook pork, you're actually supposed to cook where the fat's on top. So when you cook, uh, all the juices go down into the, um, into the meat. But being today we're using bacon, and this side's already flat from being frozen and in the store, we are actually going to wrap our bacon and have the sealed side on the bottom. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do a big no-no, and I'm gonna use this side as our bottom. So I'm actually gonna fold this at the top. Yeah, I'm gonna pull this apart. And then I'm gonna make. It's not, this really is good. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that and we're gonna do the opposite side. And we're doing that. And we're gonna do that. Oh, this is gonna be good. And that. And now I'm putting my hand here and I'm not gonna play with it, I'm just gonna flip it. Okay, and then I'm going to take the bacon that I just had, pull it over to the front of the ends, and I'm just going to flip them underneath. And if anything comes out, you just tuck it back. Isn't that nice? It's nice and pretty. Something sticking out. Put it back. All right, everything's in its place and it's going to go in the oven. 